I just sat down to use this and I knew if I didn't film a video, you guys would be pissed. So, hi. <laughs> Guess who finally bought Color Wild Dream Coat? The TikTok ads finally got me. This is the one where in the adverts they put droplets of water on her hair and they just slide off completely. It's meant to completely stop humidity. Magically transforms texture, amazing humidity proofing powers. This award-winning humidity sealant stops hair from becoming a hot mess even in the highest humidity. Activated by heat, long lasting and lasts through three to four shampoos. I've always wanted to try this. I feel like it's such a bit of me, but as you guys know, I usually have a keratin treatment on my hair. Now this is the first year in, I don't even know how many years, that I haven't done a keratin treatment. There's nothing on my hair. I mean, it's June now, so it must have completely washed out because the last time I did one was November last year. And I feel like now my hair's back in its completely un-keratin treated state. I can actually give this a good review. The reason I haven't done one this year is because look how much hair I have. It's oh, it's gonna take me like 10 hours. I can't bring myself to do it. I actually can't, it's really stressed me out. I've been ifing and butting. Do I cut my hair? Do I not? But I really like it long. I mean, obviously it's completely unstyled now, so it's a bit fluffy, ignore that. But the length, guys. It's down to my belly button when it's straight. I just, I, I can't cut it and I don't want to keratin treat it. it it's, I'm in a, a weird hair place right now. So in came the Color Wild Dream Coat because you just spray it on your hair before you blow dry it. That's it. This I can do, this sounds very simple. The final two things that convinced me to buy it were I saw one girl on TikTok, she said that she's replaced her use of Moroccan oil with this and we all know I'm addicted to Moroccan oil. I use it every single time I wash my hair. I've been using it for over 10 years now. So that was a big statement. I was like, whoa, whoa. Is this serious? Can I replace my Moroccan oil? And the second thing was someone described it as a mini keratin treatment. I have washed my hair, shampooed, conditioned it. I towel dried it. It's got nothing on it. And apparently that's how you're meant to use this. Just this is meant to replace everything by itself and give you the smoothest, sleekest, humidity resistant hair. So let's just go for it, shall we? One thing I really, really wanna do is weigh it. Because when you have long hair, I, I might potentially go through this entire bottle. So at 20 pound a bottle, I want to know now how much do I use in the sitting. So, okay, it's a 200 milliliter bottle and it's coming in now at 238 grams. I think a gram and a milliliter are the same. Or well, they better be because that's how I'm measuring cooking. <laughs> The directions are to shampoo, condition, and towel dry your hair, which I've done. Divide it into sections, which I will do. Spray each section liberally and comb through. Blow dry each section using tension. Do I use heat protector? This is a case for Google, hold up. Okay, it also protects against the damaging effects of hot tools. So this is it, this is all I'm gonna use. I don't know how I feel. I do know how I feel actually. We all know I'm sad about not putting Moroccan oil on my hair right now. I'm blow drying with my Revlon. Is it the one step or the two step? I don't know, this thing, this thing. We all know this thing. I feel like it's gonna work. I have high hopes because I've not, I mean, I saw a few bad reviews when I was looking at people's reviews yesterday. Cause I got this on Prime. This is very last minute. I literally ordered it last night. But I saw a few bad reviews, but it's worth mentioning those people weren't using it right. It says to apply it liberally, which means apply a lot. And I saw people literally just going, oh no, it doesn't work. Um, if you don't use it right, obviously it's not gonna work. Some people should not do reviews, but don't fret, I am here and <laughs> I'm gonna do this right. First comment, it's a good sprayer. And there's so many hair products where the spray is just awful, like the packaging, the way it sprays, how easy it is to press. I don't understand how brands make hair products and then put it in a crappy spray bottle. 
but this gets my seal of approval. I'm putting quite a bit on my roots because they are the bit that goes frizziest, especially because it's been quite hot in England for some reason. And I am waking up with a different hair texture to what I went to sleep with, for sure. I'm brushing it through. Okay, first layer. You guys are gonna hate me, but I feel like it needs Moroccan oil. <laughs> I just do. But I can always apply an oil afterwards. It's quite straight. It's definitely quite straight. Does it feel like water would fall off it if I got a pipette? No. Feels like it would absorb it. But I think I'm just being judgy. I think I just need to shut up and do my hair and then <laughs> review it at the end. Okay, I've done the second layer. I still, I just don't know. I think the ends are a bit fluffy, but then I kind of, I can brush them and they look fine. I don't know, no, it's a bit fluffy. I'm gonna finish this and then we can just review the whole thing. Hey guys, okay, take it in, take a look. Let's talk about it. So, it's all blow dried. I would admit it did blow dry a little bit quicker than usual, so I'll give them that. Oh, I used, I'm now down to 188 grams, so like 50 millilitres. Oh my God, I only used a quarter. That's a nice surprise, because I thought I'd go for it a lot more, and I do feel like I liberally covered my hair. It's got a good shine to it, as we can see but I still think it's fluffy. Kind of just like a fluffy blow dry. Those of you who are subscribed to my channel will know that I have blow dried my hair smoother than this before. So I know it can be better. That's the thing that's holding me back from saying, yeah, it's really good because I know I can blow dry my hair better than this. I think if I added a little bit of Moroccan oil and also used this, um, Heat protection spray by Lee Stafford, which by the way, if you blow dry your hair straight or you straighten your hair and your style you go for is like pin straight, do yourself a favor and just buy this. It is the best if you are straightening your hair. And then the Tresemme one is just good overall. But every time I switch to Tresemme and then try this again, I'm like, damn, I forgot how good you were. But this isn't the video about these products, so off, off you go. I feel like I can create a sleeker blow dry than this. But the real question is, is this gonna fight humidity? And that's not gonna be a hard test because the way I'm sweating the night right now, I just need to go to sleep and see what my hair's doing in the morning. So, but my first impression, I thought it would be smoother. I thought it would be sleeker. It's not feeling as soft as the people have been saying on TikTok. It's just not like, I've seen people saying, this has made their hair feel the softest it's ever felt. It's not done that for me. It just could, it could be better. I do want to run a straightener over it. However, I think I just need to sleep with it like this. I need to see what it will do, just blow dry. If I straighten it now, I feel like that's going to mess with the whole review because everyone on TikTok just blow dried it. Let me show you. I'm going to show you how to get this amazing like, glass. Look. I'm going to show you how to make sure it's waterproof. Here I have some water droplets. This is going to act like moisture and it usually makes the hair frizzy. Watch what happens when I put the water droplets on the hair. They literally bead off the hair. So part of me wants to drop some water droplets on it and part of me doesn't. It just doesn't feel humidity proof. It doesn't feel humidity proof. I feel like it's not humidity proof. But you know, screw it. Let's go find a pipette and let's drop some water droplets on this, shall we? I genuinely don't know how this is gonna go. I am confused, right? It's giving me that TikTok audio where it's like, 
This is funny. Not funny haha, -ha, just funny weird. <laughs> I don't know guys, I don't know what I think of this. I just can't tell if this is working and if it is working, like how is it working? Like what is it working on? I'm just really confused. I'm really confused by this product right now. <laughs> okay, so this is the bit of hair where the water droplets were. It has gone frizzy. Right, so here's what I wanna do. Next time I wash my hair, do my whole routine, I wanna just do my usual routine but then use this as well. because so I think with my usual products and this, it could be a good combo, but then people online were like, you're not meant to use this of anything, but that's not gonna stop me. So I could probably do it anyway. But what do you guys think I should do? Can we do the thing you guys did on my hair rollers video where you just gave me loads of advice and then I did a second video where I took all the advice? Do any of you use this? What do you think? I will admit I am a little bit disappointed. I just had really high hopes for this and I thought it would give me a really good result. But who knows, I might be doing it wrong. I might get some advice and we might be able to make this work amazingly so subscribe so you don't miss out on part two and thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you in my next one bye okay ignore that i'm wearing the same top i just threw this on because my pajamas were not appropriate just look at my hair okay <laughs> so it stayed pretty humidity free for the entire night which i'm quite surprised by the waves in it are from me sleeping with it in a bun but the bits that usually go quite curly didn't go as curly but it still stayed in this like fluffy blow dry state. So I'm just not sure. This is it after I brushed it. What do you guys think? Let me know in a comment and also let me know what you think I should do next. Bye.